Hi crafters, I didn't see you there. I was just AFK in my AFK pool. Hey, do you want to learn how to make an AFK pool for your Minecraft server? Here, follow me. Ah yes, back to my dark and lonely dungeon with these bright lights shining in my face. How lovely. Well today I'm going to show you how to set up the AFK pool plugin. Basically if a player is in a region for a specified amount of time, then you can run commands or give them items. It's a really simple way to reward players for spending longer on your server. Anyways, you are going to need a couple things before we can begin. First of all, you're going to need to be running a paper MC server. I always like to bring this up because I don't want there to be some Somebody like, why is this plugin working? Because they're running a vanilla server. You'll also need to have the World Guard plugin installed to tell where the region is. And for World Guard, you'll need World Edit or Fast Async World Edit. Yeah, World Edit, it's the best edit. Uh. And if you encounter any issues at all, then don't hesitate to pop into my Discord and I'll try to help you out. All right, let's get crafting. Okay, so first of all, I did not change my shirt. You're just imagining it. So what we'll want to do first is download all the plugins. So here we go. This is the AFK pool plugin. All these will be linked in the description. So you can just click on it and download it. So we just want to click download now and it will take us to Modrinth and we can click on download and ignore that it's already there. Totally didn't already try to record this. And then we want to either get fast async world edit or regular world edit i prefer fast async world edit because it's just better so we can go to download now and then we'll want to click on the bucket version and if you want to download this you just go to file and grab the one that's best for your server version which seems to be most of these and then for world guard this will tell like where the region is we need I'm running 1.20.4, so I need World Guard 7.0.9 because it's compatible with 1.20.4. So we can click on download latest file. And there we go. We have all of our files. So now we want to head over to our server and go into our file manager and then head into the plugins folder. And now we need to drag and drop all three jars. One eternity later. There we go. So now I want to head back to the console and start up our server. A few moments later. Okay, so our server started up. So we want to go back into our file manager, go to our plugins folder, and we see we have an AFK pool folder, a fast async world edit folder, and a world guard folder. So we want to go into the AFK pool plugin and then the config.yml. So this is a rather short config, but we're going to be going over most of this stuff. So you'll have a very clear understanding of what all this stuff does. So first off, we have the region name. So by default, it is AFK. This is what I'm going to leave it as because it makes sense. You know, the AFK pool is in the region called AFK. You don't need to be a super scientist to understand that. And then the crate name, I don't really use this. You don't really need to worry about that. And now we have to worry about the intervals. So how often do you want your command to execute for the player? So command one, this is executing once every 60 seconds, so one minute. And basically what we have to do to get this number, we have to take the amount of seconds times 20, because in Minecraft there are 20 ticks per second. So for example, right here we have 24,000, so this is 20 minutes. So let's say we wanted to find how much half an hour would be. So we can pull up a calculator, or if you actually like learned in school, you could do this in your head, but I'm not that smart. So we want to take 20 ticks per second times 60 seconds in a second or in a minute and then times 30 minutes. So this will give us 36,000. So you would just take that and paste it right here. So then that would be executing every half an hour. For now, I'm just going to make this 100 so we can clearly see that the it's working and I don't have to wait like a long time for it. So I'd say you want to make this number sort of high. That way there's some incentive for playing on your server for longer. So if I set it to a million, zillion, bajillion, would I get like so many players? What do you think, idiot? So here, if we don't want to be executing three different commands, we can just disable them. So I'm only going to have command one enabled. So we would just set these to false. And here's where the actual command is. So right now it's going to be giving some economy money, but I don't have an economy on my server. So I'm just going to be giving diamonds. So we will get rid of this. 
So give, and then this is like the placeholder for player, and then diamond, and then this percentage, and then M. This is a random amount. So if you go down here, you can see that it's like between 50 and 100. So basically we could get like 51 diamonds or 99 diamonds or 100 diamonds. So it, it adds some randomization to it. And then we don't need to worry about command two and command three because we disabled them. So then these are like different titles that will play whenever you enter the or exit or one of the commands executes. So we will just go to command one and I'm just going to say, you have been given diamonds. Yeah, just go with that. And we won't need to worry about these and then these are going to play whenever we enter or exit. So I think we're good now. So now we want to control S and now we want to head into game. So here I am in game. So I've made this little AFK pool ahead of time. So if you've never used world edit before, what we'll want to do is type slash slash wand and that will give you this wooden ax. So we just want to go down here. We want to basically enclose it into a box so we can left click right here. And so there's our first position and then we'll go up here and right click and that will give us our second position. You can also use slash slash pose one and slash slash pose two. So now that we have our area selected, you just have to like imagine it's there. So we want to type slash RG define and then that name in the config, which was AFK. There we go. So now we can enter it and it should. Oh, I have to AFK pool reload. And now it'll just start giving me a dozen diamonds every five seconds. So there you have it. That's how you use the AFK pool plugin. Hey, thank you for watching until the end. You are now an absolute gaming legend. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss one of these videos. And if you'd like to see this plugin in action, then feel free to check out both of my Minecraft servers. Man, that was a really good plug to get people to join my servers. Okay, I will see you on the other side. And as always, happy crafting. Oh my gosh, it's cold out. I'm going in now.